What's going on? Louise here. Today we're doing the HM2070 geometry and mesh editing using the quick edit panel. A panel made to give you a fast way of correcting small geometry errors or simplifying the geometry and even controlling the mesh and updating it automatically. So let's get down to it. First, open the base bracket model and we'll start by creating a baseline mesh. So in the 2D page, go to the Auto Mesh panel. In the Size and BIOS subpanel, set the element size to 0.1, the mesh type to Mixed, Elements to Surface Component. Then select the displayed surfaces and click Mesh. Then return to Accept it. Next. Let's simplify the geometry by removing these oblong holes and improve the mesh by trimming a washer surface around the holes. Open the Quick Edit panel and activate the Unsplit Surf Line Selector. Select the six oblong holes, so this one, two, and three, four, five, and six and HyperMesh removes them and automatically updates the mesh. Now to control the mesh around the small holes on the top, activate the Split Surf Line node selector and select this node in the third element from the edge. Then activate the line selector and pick this line. And let's do it again in here, trying to close a square around each hole. and do it again on the other side. We can see now that each hole is isolated in its own small patched surface. Let's create washers around these small holes. In the washer split line, set the offset value to 0.05, then activate the selector and Pick the edges of these small, hole, small holes. Then a small washer, which is actually a bigger circle around it, is created. Now activate the left adjust set density line selector. Left click twice on the holes edge so the density is increased from two to four elements. Then activate the right line selector and click on the same edge we have just adjusted so HyperMesh gets its density as the target density. Now we can right click on the other inner surface, sorry, the other inner edge and the target density of four is applied, making a total of eight elements on the circle's edge. Um, in case the washer's uh, outside edge density is not eight, adjust it by left clicking to increase or right clicking to decrease the density. And let's also set the outer edges to four elements, repeating the process. Once we're done, move on to the large holes and we'll use again the split line option to split lines around these holes. Finally, we'll remesh the trim surfaces controlling the mesh density and also applying a mapped mesh algorithm. A mapped mesh is a mesh pattern taken from a surface and mapped to a specific surface size and shape. So go to the Auto Mesh panel, select the surfaces around the big holes. Then set the meshing mode to interactive, the mesh type to quads, and click mesh. 
Now we are in the interactive module. So activate the density sub panel and adjust these edges densities to two by clicking right on the numbers. And in the mesh style sub panel, set the mesh method to map as pentagon. Since each surface is comprised of five edges, it should work fine and set all. A pentagon symbol appears on each surface. Then click mesh and we see that the new mesh is much more smooth and more regular than before. This was it for today guys. We are soon going to get deeper on meshing techniques, which is a fundamental part for a well done finite element analysis. So stay tuned, give it a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.